strategies are also very early into the uh, project. Now, um, if you remember in uh, slide number uh, three or four, I did say that I'm going to touch upon probability and impact uh, matrix. This is what which I said here. Uh, I also said I'm going to talk about the risk categories that I covered a uh, little bit, uh, I think some 10, 15 minutes back. Let's look at uh, probability and impact analysis now. Um, so on the left side here, if you are looking at the screen, uh, so these are all, uh, let me put the pointer for you. Yeah. Oops. So this is all probability. I'm sure uh, if you have done your engineering or even in the uh, before engineering, you know what is probability, right? It's a likelihood of an event uh, uh, that might happen. And as an example, if you flip a coin, there is a probability of uh, uh, having head surge or tails is going to be 50%, 50%, so that's probability. You can see the rounded thing here in the screen. Uh, so this is the probability. Probability is typically, uh, it's less than 1, which is 0 0.1 to 0 0.99. Uh, versus you can also see uh, there is something called impact. I have made it a wrong, I'm sorry, I'm not uh, making a good round here. But this is the impact. This is the impact uh, I had put numbers as 0, 1, 0 0.1 to 0 0.9, but it's up to you. You can make 10 to 9 or 1 to 5 or 1 to 10, it's up to you. But the only thing is uh, uh, the this side, you can see 0 0.9, this is the highest impact, and you can see 0 0.1, this is the lowest impact. It is very simple uh, table. It's kind of matrix. You multiply 0 0.1 with 0 0.1, you get 0 0.01. Versus here you can see 0 0.9 multiplied by 0 0.9 here. So this is one 0 0.81. I'll take one more example here. 0 0.25, it comes as a multiplication of 4.5 and then 0.5. <coughs> now uh, if you are able to see the colors carefully, you can see uh, all red here. You can see amber here. You can see green here. Again, these colors changes from organization to organization, project to project. There is nothing uh, stand, uh, nothing which you need to follow blindly. You can change according to the organization needs. Uh, so uh, how we are going to use this, I'm going to touch upon that in the next slide. So uh, this is what we check out in the previous uh, slide. So assuming that these are the typical risks. You can say that there is a probability that my team uh, would fall sick in uh, month of August or September because that is uh, kind of a rainy season in India. A uh, lot of people might catch cold or uh, usually if you also uh, look at the history, some of the things like swine flu and all those things, uh, people uh, usually tend to say during the uh, uh, rainy season. So we can always say that the uh, probability of my team is falling, going to fall sick is around 0 0.1, which is a low probability. However, if my team, uh, everybody in the team falls, the impact is going to be 0 0.7, which is kind of a high side. Now, uh, so you would go on and multiply these two, it will only get 0 0.07. So 0 0.07 corresponds to what you see here. So it is green, so you are going to put green here. Versus, I uh, will uh, probably not take weather, I will take attrition. So uh, I would say that, uh, or you would say that there is a probability of my team member, my team members won't leave in next uh, three months is going to be 0 0.5, which is means that it's a 50-50 percent chances. Versus uh, same impact as illness, if my team member is not with me in the project, so there is going to be impact on the budget or the cost, sorry, budget of the schedule or the quality. So the impact is going to be 0 0.7. Now just need to go and multiply, so you're going to get 0 0.3. So now quickly, we will go on and look at your uh, reference uh, matrix here. Let's see if you are able to see the color. So 0 0.3, which is red. You see we classify this as the, uh, uh, red. So here you can uh, quickly say that these are all the high, uh, high visible risks or the risks that you need to do uh, some action. The risks that you can see here in the AMBO, if something falls into this layer, you can always say that um, uh, this is the risk probably, yes, they won't cause some impact to me, but uh, I can wait for some time. Versus the green, uh, probably not much worried. So here, uh, if I give an example again, the probability of uh, people falling sick is only just very less. So uh, you would not uh, do anything. So I asked said earlier uh, saying that uh, the building that you are sitting right now might collapse. However, uh, are you going to run away uh, from the building right now? Probably may not. Though I said that, uh, 
the reason you are still hearing this webinar because uh, the probability of billing uh, uh, get collapsed is even though I said 0 0.1, it's going to 0 0.01 because uh, till now the building that you set never collapses. So, uh, and also suppose if you are in the low system region, there is no no way your building is going to get collapsed unless it is uh, constructed by the bad quality. But I think the probability is very, very less. Uh, however, the impact is going to be quite high even uh, in the scenario, right? If I say the probability of building might get collapsed 0 0.01 versus the impact is going to be very high. If at all it does, 0 0.9. If we multiply these two, still I will be uh, somewhere here. So that is the reason uh, we were all uh, uh, coming to office and we were all sitting in the building and then we were not much worried about all these things. So uh, that's how it is, uh, it can be done and then analyzed. So let's, uh, again I think I also spoke about the marriage, right? Uh, so the probability of uh, a marriage being successful, it's very difficult to say unless uh, I meet uh, you and then you were false, but uh, it's a, uh, or would be rather. So, um, uh, it's it's very difficult, but however, you can always look at the um, diverse rate in India and then come up with some probability. Let's say, uh, if I remember out of my memory, the diverse rate is, uh, I think, is around uh, 45 out of uh, thousand or something. So the probability of somebody is uh, somebody marriage will not be successful is 0 0.1 percent, sorry 0 0.1. Uh, versus the impact, I believe, it personally, it might cause a lot of impact. That is the reason still most of the people uh, get married, uh, though the so some people would get diverse, but I think it is uh, uh, still worth experimenting. Let me go to the next slide. So I believe it is uh, clear to you. Uh, this is very important slide, quality to risk analysis. So what we are trying to do here uh, mainly is uh, in the previous sections we try to identify the risks and we are slowly converting those risks into more appropriate things. So earlier, uh, assume that you have five risks. Now we will only worry about mainly two things, which is weather and attrition. Remaining risks will not be much worried because uh, it's, it's, you can also say that it's kind of an 80-20 principle. To quickly take you through, uh, there is one more thing called quantitative risk analysis. Uh, I'm not going to spend much time here because I need to spend uh, a lot of time on the um, risk responses. So you have an option to take uh, uh, aeroplane, uh, two aeroplanes. One is uh, which cost you around uh, 9,000 rupees. On time is 90%. If you are late to that particular city, you are going from let's say Bangalore to Pune, you need to uh, end up uh, losing around 40,000. Here's the one more scenario. Ideally, uh, it's very difficult for you to say straight away, but if I give this answer, with option A, you are going to lose around 13,000, and with option B, you are going to lose around 15,000. So, obviously, we are going to uh, go with uh, option A because this is where you are going to lose less money. Now uh, let me take you through uh, how do you do the risk response planning. This is an important thing. Uh, I'll uh, explain to uh, explain to you with a quick 